FBI released their official statement on the arrest of Chicago rapper Lil Durk. Uh, in their official press release, you know, they said that they captured Dirk. He was near Miami International Airport. Uh, I guess they saying, you know, they, they thought he was trying to flee. Also in their report, uh, they stated the names of the defendants. And it's all the people we already knew. Um, some people had asked me this morning when I saw when I saw what was going on, like, hey, did they kind of name any of the cooperators or any of the co-conspirators? And, you know, the guy from Cali, everybody trying to figure that out. Uh, they didn't really name any of that stuff in the report. But this is really the first official statement from the FBI uh, Department of Justice, uh, re, you know, regarding Lil Durk. Um, we saw he was arrested. We saw, you know, the other five men were arrested before him. And, you know, we could see he was in federal holdup and all of that stuff. So, you know, the speculation was all of this. But today was actually the official day. They made it official. Uh, Lil Dirt and, you know, those five men have been indicted by the federal government. Uh, they alleged Lil Dirt put a bounty on a man with the initials of TB. I believe what Taekwon Bolden, that would be Quando Rondo. And they're really... You know, confirming the stories that we all were telling you guys uh, last week when Lil Dirk was first arrested. Uh, this is just the official statement from the FBI on it, man. Also today, man, the dude, uh, O'Block Louie, um, who was, you know, he was wounded during that shootout with King Von, where King Von tragically passed away. Well, it seems that the police issued a warrant on him and they uh seemingly may be arresting him uh in regard to a video that came out where you could see Oblock Louis shooting his gun the day uh King Von was killed. You know, sometimes it's them types of situations where like if there wasn't the video, they probably, as you can see, they had let him heal up. You know, he had got shot in the head. He had kind of a horrific injury uh uh you know compared to how he looked and you know who he was before the shooting you know that that shooting really changed his life and it seemed like they was kind of leaving him alone but recently uh we saw a video hit the internet where you could see O Black Louie you know he's running with the gun and, da, 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 and you could kind of see why maybe he was shot by I'm guessing law enforcement but, you know, in these types of situations, it seems like they clearing up all of this OTF, Lil Dirk. You know, they really trying to close the door on all these cases. In these situations, if they got proof that you were committing a crime and people died as a result of that crime, then, you know, you could be arrested for murder. So I don't know if it's that murder. I know some people were saying uh, it was another murder, I guess, that they were looking at King Von for uh, in like the Hidden Hills or Hidden Valley section of Atlanta. But um, I, I'm just speculating that I believe that Oblock Louie is being arrested for seen, being seen shooting a gun during the murder of a, a few people, you know, because it wasn't just King Von that died out there that night. But um, we definitely want to, you know, report as soon as possible, let you guys know that the feds have released their official statement. Uh, we're going to leave a link to that uh, from justice.gov. Uh, the boy Lil Dirk is being charged for murder for hire uh, for the murder of Lil Pab. And it was all due to allegedly him placing a bounty on rapper Quando Rondo's head uh, after the death of King Von. Hey, man, it's your boy, Michelle Guapo, Street Certified News, man. We out.